Hey what's up you guys, Realist here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to bind toggle your crosshair size and CL underscore right hand command to a certain key. So after watching this video, you'll be able to do this without opening the console and do this without opening the console. So how do you actually do this? Like, let's not waste time. Uh, I'll be putting all the commands that you need in the description and in the comments so you guys can just copy and paste that. The first command will be bind uh, a certain key to toggle CL underscore crosshair size. This is your size and this is the big one so you can line it up. So how you find out your current crosshair size is you type CL underscore crosshair size and you just copy the value here. As you can see I'm using 2 that's why in my example it's 2 then spaced in 1000. So after typing that every time you type your key minus T it'll be very very big and you, it'll help you line up crosshairs uh, line up nade lineups faster so like for example I use this one I'm not sure if other people use it but that's the lineup I use and uh, it's really useful because for example this lineup it's like you have to go here and like aim here up to the height of here so if you do it manually it's like more inaccurate and it's like way slower so I really prefer using this command when I'm lining up certain dates. For the second command, you'll be uh, choosing a key on your keyboard or on your mouse if your mouse has extra buttons. Uh, mine will be mouse 4. I'll be binding my mouse 4 to toggle CL underscore right hand 0 space 1. So what this does is I can just click that uh, key at the left of my mouse and it'll switch my right hand. So this is like something uh, we do to you know, I don't know, switch it up I guess or like keep focus and when we're peeking certain angles. Sometimes we want the gun on the right, and when we're holding some angles, sometimes we want the gun on the left, like this, so it doesn't distract us, because it, when it's on the right, it gets kind of distracting, like there's too much stuff on the right side already. So maybe just put it on the side of the wall so you don't get distracted, and you just look at the cross here. So yeah, that's actually how simple it is to bind toggle to certain keys, like certain commands to keys. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one.